Now at 11, they died doing a good deed. And tonight, CBS 4 News uncovers surprising new details about the crash that killed a young couple. It helps bring at least a sense of justice to the situation. What police are revealing in a new search warrant. We begin with this CBS 4 News exclusive. The document shows Miramar police are investigating the driver who hit that couple for vehicular manslaughter and homicide. Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Rick Fulbaum is off tonight. Friends of the victims say they hope police get all the answers they're looking for. CBS 4's Kerry Codd is live at the scene in Miramar with more. Kerry. Elliot, Erica, no charges have been filed against the driver at this point, but we are learning in this search warrant the Miramar police are working very diligently to try to unravel what happened in that crash. As the memorial here to the two teens who died right near this spot last week continues to grow, we are learning that investigators just got their hands on the data recording system from the driver's car and hope it reveals clues to the deadly crash. Miramar police are studying the data recorder from this GMC envoy. That's one of the details emerging from this police search warrant obtained by CBS 4 News. Investigators say the driver of the car, Asia Valentine, hit and killed Gabrielle Camps and Jonah Mosafir on this dark stretch of Pembroke Road in the early morning of Monday, July 27th. The young couple was helping push their friend's broken down BMW. The warrant says witnesses told police that the BMW was visible from about a mile away and the BMW had the lights on, including the hazard lights, according to surviving pedestrians. The warrant also mentioned the darkness of Pembroke Road. Police wrote the speed of the GMC was in excess of the speed that would be reasonable and prudent to safely drive in the conditions presented. But police say all of those details are still under investigation. And they say the driver, Valentine, remained on scene and has cooperated with investigators. Here's another new development. Detectives say in the warrant that there was no evidence of braking or evasive maneuvers prior to the impact with the first pedestrian, which was approximately 10 feet to the rear of the vehicle. That was news to Andrew Yaffa, the attorney for the family of Gabrielle Camps, who was the first person hit. And now with this additional information of the defendant driver hitting Gabrielle, not appreciating that she impacted a pedestrian who went over the hood and hit the windshield and she yet continued at this speed hitting another young man taking another life. There's something more going on here. Raul Molina wonders the same thing. His son Justin was injured in the crash. How is it that the first realization she had of something going wrong was when she hit Gabby full force? Now, again, that driver does not face any criminal charges at this point, and Miramar police tell us this all remains under investigation. Live in Miramar, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. Carrie, thank you. And new details on the Tennessee movie.